Pisces, what is happening? Welcome to your energy update. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Pisces, today we're going to see what is happening for you in November coming up here. There is a full moon on the 31st, tomorrow, okay? And I believe it's an eclipse as well, Pisces. And the energies in October have been a little dense, absolutely. We're going deep, deep down, right? Some things are coming up, some triggers. Maybe you're feeling annoyed or um, just frustrated, whatever it is that's coming up for you, there's something to be healed there, um, but, but it has been dense, right? You're not just imagining things, it's not just you, right? Uh, there could be some overeating um, and whatnot, and you really seeing or feeling that you need to get yourself back in line, okay? All natural, all part of incession, right? These symptoms and our bodies recalibrating, so don't be too hard on yourself, Pisces. You know, it just is what it is, right? Um, so let's see. Let's see what's going to be happening for you in November, Pisces. What is happening for Pisces in November? What is happening for Pisces in November? Clear messages. Whoa, that was like a, that was like a, a card vomit. I see the chariot. All right, let's try this again. What's happening for Pisces in November? November, which is harvest moon, I believe. And was that August? No. I have to check. Let's see, what's happening for Pisces in November? Pisces in November. Pisces in November, clear and concise messages for my Pisces friends in November. What's what's going on with the water sign of Pisces in November? What's happening with Pisces in November? Pisces in November, clear messages, spirit, clear messages for my Pisces friends in November. What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know for November? Thank you. See Pisces. Okay, bottom of the deck, the lovers in the reverse. So there could be a misalignment within yourself, Pisces, and that's what uh, uh, Scorpio does, right? It makes us go deep, allows us to go deep so we can make sense of what it is that we're still holding on to and come into more alignment with ourselves, right? So I see this thing, right? I do see that um, maybe you're uh, you're coming out of, the base of your reading, the hangman in the reverse, maybe you're coming out of some suspension period, something that you were waiting on, right? Maybe you're waiting on some check or some money to come through and that is improving what's helping you, right? You're, you're coming out of feeling left out in the cold, okay? Um, maybe October here was a little bit challenging, you know, and it kind of took you to your edge in some sense. You know, money was a little tight for a second. But again, things improving. Your conscious mind, the moon in the reverse, okay? So gaining more stability, gaining more clarity, right? Coming out of that fuzziness, that fogginess, um, in your subconscious mind, okay, maybe you you still have some connection. The Two of Cups very present, you know, in your in your subconscious mind there, right? Kind of just lingering there. We're gonna clarify these. In the past, Six of Wands. So in the past, you could have been getting a lot of uh, attention, a lot of accolades, a lot of rewards, right? Uh, being recognized for what it is that you do, right? Uh, standing out. In the near future, and I think we had this placement in the last reading that I did, right? The Five of Cups. So it's this energy of feeling grief or maybe, you know, crying over spilled milk, what has gone wrong, you know, in this time of transition rather than looking forward here. We're going to clarify this. How you see yourself, six of cups, all right? So maybe you see yourself as um, some happy memories coming up or maybe something coming up from the past or maybe some sort of, you know, connection from the past here re-sparking. That's very interesting we're going to see. Actually, before we move forward to the last three of the cards, let's clarify some of this. All right, I wanna see here, what is this hangman in the base of your reading? All right, what is this hangman? What are you coming out of suspension about? What is this hangman? Or maybe going further into it. Pisces, I feel that all right, two of wands, a seven of pentacles in the reverse, and the eight of wands. I feel here that maybe Pisces for a long time, in some aspect of your life, this could be in regards to work, in regards to building some sort of foundation for yourself, whatever it is, right? 
maybe for a long time you were in this suspension period Pisces and you were doing and, and Pisces you're like naturally talented so you can do something and be good at it but imagine if you actually planned and put effort into it like right like you'd be fan like amazing right so I'm seeing here that there's movement taking place for you Pisces okay there's movement taking place a lot of you Pisces are transitioning from a time you know of 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 not planning of not putting in as much uh, perseverance into a situation right and you're growing you're maturing you're becoming more disciplined which I like that right that's improving within you also another message that I'm getting is that uh, while this movement is happening right you know this transition is happening Scorpio is rising of the Phoenix it is the sign of transformation so there is a transformation happening during Scorpio season and I'm seeing here that maybe the way we're choosing to perceive it or receive this energy right is maybe playing it safe an energy of playing it safe with the two of wands not planning again not putting in the work not being persistent okay so just be careful right crying over spilled milk instead of looking at all the positives but I am seeing that again you know progress is being made but your perspective how you perceive things is gonna be very important in this okay the moon why is the moon in the reverse here which is good right gaining stability in your conscious mind coming out of um, illusions cutting through that why is the moon here in Pisces conscious mind why is the moon here why is the moon here in Pisces conscious mind? I don't want to take these. They didn't feel right. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here in Pisces conscious mind? Pisces conscious mind. Why is the moon here in the reverse? Pisces conscious mind. King of Wands in the reverse and the Five of Wands. So Pisces, you know, maybe you're seeing a, a situation very clearly with a King of Wands energy. Um, with with a fire sign that maybe right now is, you know, just focused on themselves and, and work. Maybe workaholic, maybe, you know, being impulsive. May, you know, maybe you're thinking about a person, a fire sign. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but someone that's exhibiting these qualities. Also, another thing that's coming in, Pisces, is that a lot of you could be could be coming very clear, uh, especially during the Scorpio season, right? Some gems are being gifted upon to you about some of your tendencies, right? Like, it's almost like, how do I put this into word? It's, it's like when you get into this, this mode of right and things start to get overwhelming then certain tendencies come up right maybe you're you're um you're harsh with people or you just don't have patience with them right and i feel here there's some aspects about yourself that you are spotting out that you would like to change side note for some of you for you know that are seeing that i know that you know some things have been uh made aware to me okay that i would like to change as well so I can see this energy. Let's see here. Pisces, subconsciously, Two of Cups. Let's see. What is this Two of Cups? I'm going to clarify with this other deck. What is this Two of Cups in Pisces, subconscious mind, which we know the subconscious rules like all of our life. <laughs> what is What are uh, Pisces subconscious thoughts here with this Two of Cups? That Six of Cups popped out again. Six of Pentacles and Six of Cups, subconsciously. Pisces, I feel here like there could be a situation where maybe like you're kind of split, right? Maybe you want to give to a situation, but you also want to walk away. Maybe someone wants to give to this while you're walking away. Maybe someone's walking away while you want to give to this. Okay, so some sort of relationship, or maybe you're hoping, you know, that someone puts in more energy or like a more balanced situation here some sort of connection is in the back of your mind okay and it's interesting because i just got a, like a gist of something of how that is playing out in your conscious in your 3d reality right let's let's see i want to get one more on this subconscious this is interesting to me 
What is this subconscious frustration just wanted to show itself? What is this subconscious thought for Pisces? What is this two of cups? What is this two of cups? Two of cups. You know how when we're like, even when you're really into a person, you get super giddy and excited. And like when you guys are not, when it's a time where you, they're not really around, you're just kind of like, blah. Okay, it shouldn't be like that because you, um, couple came out here. Gaining more strength. A lot came out here. So many sexual thoughts, deep desire, caring connection, springtime, frustration within a year and remember. Okay. I think here, Pisces, that you definitely have some connection on the forefront or the back of your mind, right? That is really... It's almost like you are I don't want to say like bored, right? With like what's going on in your environment, things are tense, da, da, da. But this subconsciously, I mean, this is always in the back of your mind. You like you feel that maybe like within a year things are gonna improve. There's a little bit of frustration um, with this connection, but it is a caring connection, okay? And you have this deep desire and sexual thoughts, okay, about your person. And it says, remember. Okay, so I feel like something is, I feel like things are transitioning. The universe is conspiring to give you what you want. But sometimes when it's happening, we don't understand it, right? We're like judging it. It's like, it's not finished yet, right? You have to be patient. And, and each phase is going to teach you something that is going to be useful for when you get there. Okay, you know, maybe this phase right now is really teaching us how to master our thoughts, how to master ourselves, right? When all these energies are tense and you get anxious and all you feel like doing is eating is, is bringing yourself back to present awareness. Is eating 10 Dove chocolates like I did the other day really going to help me in any way, shape, or form? Or is it going to bring down my energy? It's going to make me feel worse. It's going to bring me down to the spiral, right? So I feel like, again, that a lot of us have gotten a whole lot better at spotting these things out and we're working on self-mastery here. And there's a connection in, you know, the back of our mind that we know is like there's something further to be had here, right? All right, moving forward. Pisces, your next move, Five of Cups. Who is this Five of Cups? That might not even be you, but who is this? Who is this Five of Cups? Who is this Five of Cups? Who is this Five of Cups? Maybe someone is going on some sort of trip or someone is like uh, busy and preoccupied. Let's see, what is this Five of Cups for Pisces next move? Five of Cups for Pisces next move. Got two. The Strength and the Reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. Pisces. What I'm seeing here is that, you know, your next move is really a couple things, right? You, is that you, if, if you're not in this nine of pentacles energy, okay, which is thriving, I feel like you need to change your perspective, right? Have the strength, have the bravery to, to, to make that change from dwelling on the past, dwelling on what didn't work, dwelling on a person again and again and again right you have to step off the hamster wheel and like really get that energy moving in a different direction okay there could also be here a situation where one person right now is like okay and single and doing their thing and and fine and, and working away and another person is feeling more so like the five of cups right also these could be two aspects within yourself you could be you know the money could be slightly improving again but you're still kind of not feeling at your best emotionally, okay? And, it's, and, and, and the strength here, the challenge here is to really see the glass half full rather than half empty. Uh, empty. Let's see, one more. One more here for Pisces next move. One more for Pisces next move. All right, five of pentacles in the reverse. Again, for a second time here. This was when uh, it was helping or hindering you, and this just popped out again. So money matters could be improving, okay? Money matters could be improving here. Um, again, maybe, you know, you get in that check you've been waiting for, getting that client you've been waiting for. Whatever it is, it's coming through, okay? And I feel like financially, you know, you're, you're going to, um, level up here, you're going to feel the fruits of your labor with that. But like emotionally, you're still working through some things, right? 
Then we have the fool in the reverse, which is like, it could either be a little recklessness, okay? Maybe you, you, you get a little reckless, let yourself go, okay, with this energy of five of cups. Or you are, there's, things are improving yet it isn't the full shebang yet that you want your full new beginning and therefore maybe you're kind of like, Again, looking at what's not there rather than seeing all the progress that's been made. Hi, actually, I want to get a one card oracle for this and then we'll move forward. Let's see what I want to get this with. Let's do this. What is Pisces' next move? What is Pisces' next move here? What is Pisces' next move? What is this energy? What is Pisces' next move? What is Pisces' next move? Pisces next move. Pisces next move, spirit. What is Pisces next move? Empower yourself, Pisces. Yeah, yeah. And, and this is exactly how we were talking about, right? Having the strength, Pisces. Having the strength here to come out of this five of cups energy okay and empower yourself because if you really look at it things you know things are improving okay so empower yourself safe and surrounded by love keep your heart open and know that you are being protected listen to what you know to be true allow yourself uh to see and understand what is going on around you and setting up parameters assess your relationships and determine how they are aligned with your goals setting boundaries requires an honest evaluation of your present relationship so I feel here that Pisces, you are empowering yourself and you're really taking account of, you know, of your relationships here, right? And your subconscious mind, the two of cups, a connection, right? Uh, equal give and take, but yet, you know, someone walking away, you know, so it's like, it's, you're really taking into account some things. Maybe there's a, a connection that you want to give more to and another one that you want to walk away from. How you see yourself, Six of Cups, what is this? What is this Six of Cups for how Pisces views themselves? Six of Cups for how Pisces sees himself? Six of Cups. All right, Pisces, currently maybe, again, you know, a, a lot of feeling emotionally maybe drained, right? Five of Cups energy um the ace of cups in the reverse so you're you're a little confused right now okay there's a lot of options there's a some fuzziness around the situation but emotionally you're not maybe something is coming back and you're not emotionally something is missing right there's some tweak needed here there's something that you're not completely satisfied about and I believe you will gain some more of that clarity during Scorpio season in your environment. Let's check this puppy out. Who is this Queen of Swords? Someone here very uh, logical. Okay, maybe a little bit skeptical. All right. Uh, very clear, concise. Doesn't necessarily have to be a woman. Could be a woman in your environment. But who is this Queen of Swords, right? Air energy. Someone that's watching. Clear-minded. What is this? I'm going to get with a different duck. Let's see. What is this Queen of Swords? What is this Queen of Swords for Pisces environment? Who is this in Pisces environment? Who is this in Pisces environment? Queen of Swords. Who is this Queen of Swords in Pisces environment? Who is this Queen of Swords? Okay. All right, so we have four of pentacles. This is someone that's conserving themselves. Maybe, again, they're not saying much at this time, kind of holding back a little bit. Um, and I feel like this person, um, you know, maybe lacks faith. Maybe, you know, they, they don't, they have doubts, okay? They, they just don't see how things could pan out, but they want to come out of conflict. And it's interesting because we do have the five of wands up here, okay, in, um, what your conscious mind was right with this king of wands so there's an external person that um maybe is you know very clear right again 
the clarity with the moon in the reverse. Okay, queen of swords type of energy. The, the moon is more intuitive, but definitely coming into some clarity. So there's someone here that's kind of keeping a distance. Maybe they, um, you know, a divorced person. And they're just watching, kind of conserving themselves. And they don't even have faith that maybe, you know, this could go further right now, you know. Let's see, what is this? One, one more. One more. Let's see, what is, who is this Queen of Swords? Who is this Queen of Swords? Who is this Queen of Swords in Pisces environment? Who is this Queen of Swords? Who is this Queen of Swords in Pisces environment? Who is this Queen of Swords in Pisces environment? Determination popped out over there. And then we have financial issues. Denial. Start fresh and determination. So maybe someone is determined to get their finances in order and maybe they're in denial, okay, about a fresh start with you, right? This could be the denial, the lack, you know, the not even being able to fathom the situation because you don't have faith. So they're preoccupied as I feel, you know, you have been too. Again, this energy of inner self-work, but again, you know, this is just the process. Understand that when spring comes again, right, things start to blossom. Whatever died off can now be reborn in a better version. Your hopes and fears, king of swords. So you're hoping that maybe to have clarity, okay? Or maybe you're fearing that someone is going to be very stoic and cold with you or detached. Outcome, the empress in the reverse. Let's clarify this. Let's clarify this puppy. What is this? What is this Empress in the reverse for the outcome for Pisces? What is this Empress in the reverse for the outcome? What is this? What is this? And uh, November, Empress in the reverse. What is this? Well, that's like ten. I can't take those. There's too many. Empress in the reverse for Pisces. What is this? What is this outcome? Empress in the reverse. Shall we go? Oh, oh, oh. Empress in the reverse. And then we have the Knight of Wands. So this is a lack of direction. This is like, you know, a little bit flighty, a little in and out energy. Okay, and then we have all these other nice cards. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is consistent, stable. Okay, maybe some sort of stable offer coming. The Lovers and the Fool. So this is very positive, and yet we have the Empress in, in the reverse and the Knight of Wands, which are not as positive cards as these. Interesting. Let's let's do some more clarifying. What is this Knight of Wands and Four of Swords, the Devil, and the Ten of Swords in reverse? Okay. Okay. So I am seeing. Remember how we've been talking about how things definitely are improving and how things like work out in the background and we don't understand it, right? And it's just like helping us get to a, the next thing we need to go. So things are improving. I actually do see good things on the horizons, new beginnings in love, right? Where maybe someone that's more consistent, more stable, or maybe that person, you know, has, has leveled up and is bringing you more stability your way. However, the challenge here could be Pisces for you or for this person or for both of you in some aspect, right? That the noisiness of the mind, okay? The noisiness of the mind, the distractions, the fear, Okay, the temptation, the devil energy, the distractions again of the, 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 these times where the veil is thin, okay, and feeling like defeated, right? Th those, those distractions, that illusionary energy that is just like transient could make you, you know, just be a little flighty. And there's a need for some rest here. So... Again, things are improving, 
but it's going to depend how you choose to look at them, your next actions, right? Are you going to, your next move, stay in this Five of Cups energy, and then when, when all this finally comes, you know, to harvest, you're in this energy, you know? And this like devil energy in and out and, and, and a lot of noisiness of the mind and feeling defeated, right? So you're not going to be able to take full opportunity, you know, full advantage of that opportunity if you're in this energy. So I'm seeing here that it's important for you and how we saw here your next move, right? The need to empower yourself, the need to empower yourself, the need to, you know, again, perform what we're being asked to do, which is level up to self-mastery. And trans transform your energy. You are more than capable of having the strength, right? Just decide. All right, you know what? Today, starting today, this is what I'm going to do and stick to it. Like yesterday, I, I fasted, right? Fasting is kind of difficult for me because I like to eat, okay? And I eat well, but I also eat like a bunch of shit, right? And, 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 I, and I work out like crazy. I mean, I'm actually, I don't work out to look any certain type of way just to feel good. But empower yourself you can make the decision okay you can turn that energy around pisces don't get caught up or stuck in in this stuff and don't allow that to make you miss out on your blessings because they're coming all right pisces let's get one financial card for oh wait oh my goodness this video is way longer pisces one financial card Employment change, Pisces. Your career path is leading you into a higher direction. Again, things are shifting, things are moving. There's movement for sure. Uh, with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way. Employment changes on the horizon for you, Pisces. Maybe you're leveling up in your company, okay? Maybe you're you know, uh, getting to a point where you are uh, more seasoned in what you're doing and you're getting the hang of it and you're getting to the next level. Whatever it is, you're getting to the next level, okay? All right. Let's get one more for Pisces. Let's, let's just see what comes out with these oracle to wrap these up. Actually, we'll get one from here and then we'll get from this deck. Release. Pisces release and it's funny because like autumn and winter you see the leaves falling we can learn a lot from nature okay observing nature we, we learn a lot about ourselves this is a time to release illumination relaxation going forward potential truth and abundance these are a lot of cards more than I thought but definitely a time of illumination right and to just go forward in your truth and you'll get a, a lot of abundance from that, right? Releasing and moving forward in your truth will bring you abundance. Pisces. Manifesting your dreams. My dreams are coming true. See, we judge the way. We don't see the path because it isn't a straight path. But listen, what, what you're going through is leading you towards you manifesting your dreams, just wait and see. Okay, Pisces, stay positive. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.